Hi everyone, I'm Casey Williams. Well, the other day my coworker and I were walking out to lunch and he asked me, as he always does, well, Casey, what are you driving? And I have a smile on my face and I point to this car behind me and he just looks at me and says, a Volkswagen Golf? And I said, oh, no, 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 no. This is not your ordinary Volkswagen Golf. This is a Golf R. Let's go take a look at it. Well, the overall shape and design, the shell of the vehicle is exactly the same as other Golfs. But where you really see the difference in the R is starting with the front end. Got a little more aggressive front fascia, front, little front splitter look on the bottom of it, R logos. Get the bi-xenon headlamps, the LED running lamps here. Just gives it a more aggressive look. But the things I like about the front of the car, that it even shares with the other Golfs, it's just neatly trimmed the way the, way the hood is. It just looks very crisp, very well designed. And it's actually very sleek from the front of the car. You come around the side, again, just the traditional Golf profile, two box design. But you get the 18 inch alloy wheels that are unique to the R some of the logos, more aggressive body sills down at the bottom, a little spoiler on the back right above the hatch. Again, just gives it a little more aggressive stance, a little sportier look to the car. And when you come around the back, you see the quad chrome exhaust tips, again, the rear diffuser, and just again, more, just a little more aggressive look on the back. I like the clear lenses back here, again, looks very expensive. When you pop the hatch again, you just have the typical luggage space that you have in a Golf. Back seats fold down, split fold. You can get a bicycle in here, just about wherever you want. So you've got a car that's very sporty. It's also very quick, but it's also very practical day to day. Well, under the hood and beneath the car is where things get a lot more interesting and what really separates the Golf R from lesser Golfs. Let's start with the engine. It's a two liter turbocharged and intercooled four cylinder engine. It delivers 292 horsepower, 280 pound feet of torque. It's quite a bit of power in a car the size of this. What makes this car even better is it comes with Volkswagen's 4-motion all-wheel drive system. So you can really get power to the pavement. You can get a 6-speed manual transmission in this car. Ours has the 6-speed automatic, which is fine. And looking at fuel economy, 22 miles per gallon in the city, 31 miles per gallon on the highway. It's very good. On top of the performance of this car, 0 to 60 in under 5 seconds. A very quick car, you still get 30s on, on the highway, and you get the all-wheel drive system to pull that power to the pavement. It's a lot of fun to drive. Well, with the exception of a few enhancements, the interior of the Golf R is very similar to other Golfs. You got a nice padded dashboard. I like the uh, piano black finish around here. Nice thick leather wrapped steering wheel. It all feels very expensive. It always has inside the Golf. But some of the enhancements, you get the thickly bolstered seats. These actually happen to be heated and power and adjust with adjustable lumbar. So again, very nice seats. Flat bottom steering wheel. Kind of gives a sportier feel inside the car. Get kind of a carbon look here. Again, it's not real carbon fiber, but it looks very nice here on the dash and on the doors with the, with the metallic trim. Storage here, cup holders. You do have rear air vents, so there's no console storage here. The air vents run through, but it's very nice for the back passengers. Dual zone automatic climate control. Again, heated seats. This has navigation, has up-level premium sound system on it. And I like the sound system a lot. In fact, I think it's better than the Fender audio system offered on other vehicles in, in the Volkswagen lineup. So overall, the car feels fairly expensive inside. But at the end of the day, you are, you know, the interior is a Golf. The back seats are a little bit cramped, and, and, and the interior materials probably aren't quite up to the price point of this car. But overall, it's a very nice place to spend some time. Well, I like the Golf R quite a bit. It's a lot of fun to drive. Over the weekend, I had some two-lane roads up in northern Indiana, and you can just blow by farm trucks all day long. It's a lot of fun. But there is a downside with the Golf R. Again, at the end of the day, you are driving a Golf. That's good, and, and it's got some downsides as well. So let's talk about pricing as it goes, goes along with this. Well, you can buy a Golf just under $20,000. A Golf GTI, a very sporty car, right around $25,000. But this car all in, you're looking at $41,295. And at that price point, you're comparing yourself against a BMW 3 Series, Mercedes C-Class, and a lot of other great cars. I enjoy the car, I think the driving experience is up to that price point, but you've got to ask yourself if that's what you want to pay for a Golf. If so, I think you'll be very happy in this car. Well next week we'll have another fun car, and until then, storm forward.